I'll show you how to create a connected app. First, you have to go to Salesforce. You go to Setup. In the Quick Find box, you go to App Manager. Type App Manager, it comes up. You click New Connected App button here. You have to name it like I see my connected app. API name is same. Uh, I have to provide some email address. So very important you provide email address so it um, so it is mandatory. Contact phone number is optional connected app can use multiple authorization um, you can enable auth there are other options as well let's talk about only the auth which is widely used um, in salesforce domain so these are the Auth scopes. They are not from Salesforce. From Auth, Auth is a framework um, to for, uh, to connect for authorizations. Um, you have to type callback URL easy um, URL. You go back after the um, um, authorization. Yeah. HTTPS some dot lk callback URL. So we don't know how to use digital signatures. We leave it unchecked. Those are the scopes. It is very important to understand the scopes. There are different scopes in Salesforce. You can depend on the scope. You get the authorization um, to view the Salesforce or any Salesforce data of um, objects or records or uh, perform uh, operations. Scope is kind of a, your ability, you know, it may be capability, you know, different capabilities in layman's term. So I want to give full access, don't give full access unless it is absolutely necessary. Um, you narrow, you the narrowest access. Let for the sake of uh, the demo, I to full access then we are not worried about the other uh, options here um, so we enable auth settings so we use auth uh, for uh, authorization for the connected app uh, Changes can take up to seven minutes to take effect. Delete in the parent dog also deletes all the connected apps with all settings enabled. So it might take time to get it activated. It's happening behind the scene. So you can see consumer key and consumer secret here. They are very important to um, uh, to know. You, you have to give external application to access. Uh, so when you click here, 
it gives uh, and verification code I got the verification code we say it's it's an added security we'll enter the verification code You verify so you ended up on this screen these are the consumer key and consumer secret like if you um connect to the Salesforce with post or no with other um, application um, you use these con co consumer key and consumer secret and then to authenticate and then um, you get a uh, access token after aftermath the procedure. So you use it to access the data. So these are not native to uh, Salesforce consumer key and consumer secret. They are OAuth features. Um, if you want to know about the OAuth. Go to their um, website. So this is auth. What is auth? OAuth stand for Open Authorization. It's a standard design to allow websites or, or application to access resources hosted by other web apps on behalf of the user. It replaced OAuth 1 in 2012. It's now the de facto industry standard for online authorization. OAuth 2 will provide the consented access and restrict actions of what the client app can perform on resource on behalf of the user without even sharing the user's credential. Although web is a main platform for OAuth 2, the specification also describes how to handle the kind of Delicate access to other client, example, browser based application, server side, native mobile, and connected devices. Yeah. So, back to our connected app. So, so, we created a connected app here. If you go to App Manager, you you see my here my ca is a connected you can see app type is connected if you want to view or edit or manage you can view edit manage in the drop down menu once you view it you can edit and manage as well here as you can see i gave full access the scope is full access so it is um, if you use workbench workbench uses a connected app to behind the scene to connect to your org so that's one example the easy example to connect uh, of the usage of connected app You can delete, edit, or manage here. If I go, you go to manage. You can edit policies here. Uh, you can define the mobile start URL. The in the under all policies permitted by user all users is very important. Enforce IP restrictions. Um, you may relax IP restrictions if you have highest security, uh, uh, but if you work within the um, Salesforce, Salesforce, Salesforce to Salesforce, or within Salesforce, so you need uh, relax IP restriction in IP relaxation. 
very important time out value this there's no time out value you can see this is how you edit connected app policies i um in the next video i will explain how to use a connected app um so i'm running out of time here more than 10 minutes so i don't want to create a one hour video it will be boring for you